Hey folks, Irrational Loser here, and in today's ZetaCraft SMP, we attempt to get some villagers going. Yes, in today's episode, I have got a few things we need to get sorted. One has been diamond armor, and two is setting up a few farms so that we can get building material to build our massive build. I don't think I've actually spoke about it yet, but I want to do a dark castle. So I like I'm an evil ice king sort of thing. That's why I kind of wanted to build in this icy biome, this island filled with ice spikes all around us and a wee bit of land in the background there. Can't even zoom in there. There we go. Hi. So yeah, um, but to get things going, these guys need to move because they are uh, very close to this and I think it's disrupting the rates because every now and again zombies will come over and these guys will spawn a golem. Which is really, really annoying. So I'm going to shift them over to the other side of the island. Which is all the way over here. And this is going to be where our trading area is in the castle. So I'll look. Yeah, so this bit here. This bit here is going to be our trading area. It's not going to look amazing to begin with. Because I don't have the materials yet to build up massive walls. It's just going to be safe and secure. And hopefully not get destroyed by zombies. But I am going to have... What are you? Are you vines? Swallow. Swallow. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have... Hopefully Swallow. get a zombification part in this one because... Really, I'm not going to do a lot of mining for diamonds and... I don't even know what the shop's going to be like, the shopping district. I know a few shops have already come up. It has been about two weeks since I last recorded on the server. Just a lot's been happening. And then... Uh, Swallow. Yeah, Swallow. Good, bro. Swallow. Swallow. Cool. But yeah, so back to it. Let's get these guys moved over here. Safely. Uh, a village breeder area is what's going to be needed. I Swallow. think... Probably kind of using the, the newer design. I think it's pixel rifts. Could be someone else. I cannot get the, the figures in my head. It's not there, but it's a quick, simple design which uses carrot farm and just a trapdoor system to get um, baby villagers out. So I'm going to set that up. Oh. And this thing, this thing is working, by the way. Like, this has been maybe two, three hours of AFK work. So I love about this farm. So the breeder is sorted. Sadly, I had accidentally left this open to the world and we lost our other two villagers. A zombie got in and took them out, which is really annoying, but not the end of the world. Now I need to hook this area up here and get that going along here, get it along here so that they can um, slowly oh. filter into these, oh, what are they called? Workstations. And yeah, the first one we're getting done is blast furnaces because we have so much iron, we'll get so much emeralds. And get us diamond armor. Look at that. Need to get diamond armor without even going for diamonds. Nice. But I did notice this over here. So this is the main shaft stuff. Swallow. Which is gonna look cool. So yeah. So while that's slowly working away. Swallow. I'm going to jump Swallow. down here and see what this is all about. Swallow. 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 Oh. Swallow. Swallow. Okay. Swallow. 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 I see lots of zombies and creepers. Oh, I thought he was going to set that off there. Swallow. Oh, Swallow. Zombie, I would love to get a hold of you. Swallow. Swallow. <laughs> he did. Oh, cool. So we've got some Swallow. main cart TNT stuff. Swallow. Really should light this bit up. Swallow. 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 We've got some redstone down here. Some gold. Swallow. Oh, wow. Swallow. 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 Swallow, swallow. Mm, that's strange. You would think there'd be something here. This is swallow. a random furnace. Swallow, 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 swallow. Yeah. Swallow, you know, this swallow. is 
This is quite cool. Oh. No, I don't think I'm finding anything. So oh. but I will admit this is so quite oh. awesome. Swallow. So there are so torches there. Swallow. So oh great. Swallow. So yeah, oh we get cobwebs. I can come down and get cobwebs and things like that. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, it's just a straight line with some branches going off. This is so cool. Oh, there's an amethyst. Swallow. So so nice. Oh, well, so I think we need to come down and explore this a bit more, but so I think getting all the villager stuff sorted is going to be priority at the moment. So so let's get back to it. Alright, so first part's all done. Baby villagers will drop down here, they'll come over to here. Uh, hopefully just drop down into here, I forgot about this bit here. And I should be able to easily dispense minecarts onto this, pick one villager up and it will go to the place that I need it to. And then obviously once it's in here, I'll lock it in. I have a trap door in front of it here to keep it safe from any zombies. And because it will still be on the minecart, it should be easy to move and put it to the new place it will go to. Because this is just going to be temporary. Once we start getting the building blocks for the castle, once we start getting the building blocks for the castles, once we start getting the building block for the castle, it will get moved into a new area, which I am actually excited for to do. But I need little baby villagers before we can do that. Alright, so I am starting to get villagers in. It's working. I kind of messed up a wee bit and it, it wasn't working for a second, but it is now. And the first thing I thought of was, I need food. One of the things I'm going to run away with is get having no food. So getting food is going to be a must. And I think apples for golden apples to heal these guys up. Oh. It's going to be really great. So I've set these up to work. There is a baby villager in there. I'll just make sure everything works. Huh. Let me do whatever I've done there. And I just want to get them leveled up as much as possible. And I am out of emeralds? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Uh, you can stay away. Right, you can die. Thank you very much. So yeah, I just need to wait in this wee guy growing up. Oh, I'm gonna go and sleep. Where's the monster? <laughs> okay, the monster's there. All right. A good thing I've got another bed off in the distance. I can just run away from all this lot. Nice. Right, so it is just a case of waiting them growing up, getting more of them out, and then slowly building up on the, the arsenal of villagers. Getting blaze rods so that we can go and make some um, woo, potions of weakness, and healing them up to get the best trades possible. This is really dangerous, this area. There's all these creepers. This is this is why you need a bow and arrow. Knew it was going to happen. Right, oh. I was going to go... Right, cool. So this is ready for another farmager. Farmager? Farmer villager. Uh, we can get one of these, hopefully. No. How does this work? Like, is the hitbox that weird? Or is it because it has to be an adult? Oh, we got another one coming? We do. Did I catch it? Just randomly? Oh, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Um... 
Is this would be it'd be cool if I can just yeah look there we go we got a baby so it is working that's good the other two I accidentally let out uh, this guy is in I can block this off so uh, I can take this do this and I can do that that gives us the next one. Yep, you're sorted. You are so close to leveling up. You are still a baby. Hurry up, please. And it is just a waiting game. It really is. All right, this guy has grown up. We need coal for emeralds before we can get the iron trade. Or if we could get some emeralds from this guy, it would be amazing. But no, it's fine. We can jump down into this bit down here where we've got a cave. I can take a wee look and see if there is any damage. Oh, there's some coal right there. How handy is that? All right, get a bit of coal here. That'll give us four emeralds. I can upgrade this one more time. Getting dark and dark. And oh, suspicious stew. Uh, that'll be quite a fun one. And then we need to go get a hold more coal and get this guy upgraded for the iron to emerald. Finally! After like six or seven of these guys, finally got the iron and good guy. So this guy, you can leave us now. Thank you for your service. But yes, we have the iron to emerald guy now, and that just makes it so much easier. A lava bucket to emerald, not too bad. Not only that, I think we got one of the better toolsmith guys. Um, unless I'm on the wrong one again. Nope. We did, we get one of the better ones. Not only that, these also give an uh, iron to emerald trade, but this one's a lot cheaper to get to. And I didn't realise that until now. So we have... Well, you, you're the journey armourer. You give us the armour pieces, this guy gives us the tools like the pickaxe and this the axe and the shovels and all that sort of stuff and, and this guy gives us weapons so I do have three of these to go now I think maybe one each of these again will be better I don't know, do, do you get like the full armour in pair one? I mean, I mean with me just playing along with this I've just been getting iron like nuts like it's not as if it's a uh, crazy uh, iron farm but that's a lot of iron and if I was able to get these guys zombified and healed it would be one for one which is even better and you go up ooh and an efficiency two iron pickaxe now I've got a feeling that this do donates what's going to be in the master or no you get that as a master. Alright. Yeah, okay. But I think the flint one itself is a, a, quite a rare trade. All in. Right, how are you doing with swords? You're still the sharpness 3. Which is not what I want. You've went up to 5. Right, you are going to expert, which gives us... Oh. Nice. Some pro 2 uh, diamond boots and pro fire protection two leggings but yep they're expensive well, understandable nothing i can do about that but we've got diamond armor now that's awesome right so we've got uh, some grown ones in there still some babies as well which is annoying but i can put one uh two and three okay and get three more of these guys and then i can just let these these guys here build up so that when we get to the bigger trading hall 
then I don't need to worry about it as much. You're in. I can get the next one. And we've got master notes. Oh! So we've got full diamond. Enchanted. Quite a nice wee variety of different protections. Uh, shame none of them have got unbreaking on them though, but there's nothing we can really moan about that. Now, have you decided to change you? No. Nope. And you're still efficient too. That would be nice to get... Um, like a Fortune 3, but I don't think... I don't think Fortune 3 is possible. Well, Fortune is possible. And I think Fortune 3 is possible as well. Oh. That may be something we need to look into then. Oh, have you grown up? Nice. Right, so this is where the problem begins. Since I won't know what the, if it's an iron trade or not next. Until I'll upgrade them. Which I find quite annoying. But it's the excitement of trying to find it. Ooh. Then I can come back to these guys and get the the iron that sorted, and then obviously I can get good food. But this guy, I've got the golden carrots, and then hopefully I can get this guy up to golden carrots pretty soon as well. And I need you to re-roll your sword. Give me a good sword, and then it's just a case of me trading these iron to emeralds and. Getting some super overpowered armor. All right then, let's take a wee look at what we've got. So we've got two farmers here. They're fully upgraded now. We've got the golden carrots, which is amazing. There we go. We've got some cake as well for that one. We've got the toolsmith here, which is giving us an unbreaking two efficiency two pickaxe, which is good. And if we obviously combine them together, as an efficiency three, unbreaking three. And then, obviously, we can work our way up with that. Not too fast. That's a good shovel as well. And we've got the iron to emerald trade with this. Iron to emerald trade in this one as well. But we also get the diamond sword and the diamond axe. Uh, the skulk smite too is good. But I think I've got a few books somewhere that are giving me skulk smite 3. So, not too fast with that. Got the armorer, which has got fire protection, protection two, protection three, protection two. So quite a good amount of diamond stuff, and obviously the iron to emerald trade. These two here are still not there yet. This one's a lot, and then this one has just been put in because this is the second time that I've had to recycle this one, and yeah. That's annoying. And then we've got this villager here, we've got the iron to emerald, and these are looking really good, especially this one. A uh, feather falling tree with the unbreaking two protection two. I could get two of them combined, get feather falling four, unbreaking three, and protection three, which is good. Really good. Um. But what was this one's? Protection, just protection two. It's good. And then we have this as well. So we can get a protection two, unbreaking two. Um, yeah. We get a lot of protection stuff. And then hopefully with these two villagers, we get something really good as well. But uh, push comes to shove. Now we can go and get an enchantment table set up and just re-roll a whole load of them. But yeah, I'm currently now in the process of upgrading our tools and getting a whole load of stuff because that's going to be the easier stuff to get. I think um, our sword is... Oh, our sword's that we've got the now's good enough for what we need and that is me out of emeralds I am going to need to trade some iron again with these guys and I'm going to need to AFK quite a bit because this is the last of the iron oh, I've got three of the things, jeez uh, I'll go shove all this stuff, uh, the iron that I've got into this furnace stuff over here get the ingots back, well nuggets which I can then for transform 
which I can then transform into ingots. So uh, we've got quite a bit of nuggets. So uh, yeah, doing good. We're not like a hundred percent the way there yet. This is taking a lot longer than what I thought it was going to. Eh? But I'm happy with it. I mean, we're only episode two. I know some of the other lot have done a lot of stuff since I've been on, but it's been about a week and a half since I've been on. I've just been burnt out a wee bit, and I had a dance competition with my kids over the weekend. That I've literally just had no time to come and record. This is the only day I've had, so I've been on as much as possible to get this done. I think it's took me a lot, at least eight hours to get to this point just today. And to be honest, I don't think I can go too much further. Oh, if you bring that back down, I will trade with you. Okay? Yep, yeah, I'm literally just getting emeralds and all that. And just working my way up because this... This is a good thing, like, I know people gripe and moan about it, but it's in the game, this is how you're supposed to use it, so why moan about it? I get like mending in the books and all that, yeah, with the librarians, yeah, it's there, you may as well use it, if you're not going to use it then don't, I mean, no one's stopping you. But this is in the game, which I think is a bit overpowered, but sorry mate. The villagers are there, you may as well use them. If you don't want to use the librarians, just get the, the tools and the armor smiths and stuff like that. And then try your luck with enchanting, if that's the way you want to play it. But honestly, I prefer being able to power myself back up if I die as quickly as possible. So. I'm all happy with that. So anyway, thanks for joining me. See you all next time.